geology is a historical science. And by being able to measure geologic time, you can determine when things happen. You can also determine the rates of geologic processes. Out of a post-World War II shack at the U.S. Geological Survey in Menlo Park, Brent Dalrymple and his colleagues examined the Earth's magnetic field. Alan Cox and Richard Dole and I started out to investigate the behavior of the Earth's magnetic field. It had been hypothesized as early as the 1920s that the Earth's magnetic field had reversed in the past. So we decided to test that hypothesis and to determine whether or not that had happened. And if it had happened, we set out to, uh, we were going to determine a time scale for those geomagnetic reversals. Core samples obtained from volcanic rock were brought back to the lab for isotopic and magnetic analysis. From these analyses, the age and polarity of the sample cores were determined. We're able to show that the Earth's magnetic field had indeed reversed a number of times in the past four and a half million years. Subsequently, we were able to construct a time scale of those reversals for the last uh, four to five million years. This magnetic time scale established by Dalrymple, Cox, and Dole was a key finding of the puzzle that confirmed the theory of plate tectonics. By 1965, the theory of plate tectonics was pretty well developed, and that was uh, just about the time we'd finished our work on the geomagnetic reversal time scale. And it happened then that a lot of interesting pieces of the puzzle all fell into place and just clicked. It turned out just wonderfully, which is the type of thing that only happens about once every century for any particular science. <laughs>